Hello friends and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today I'll show you how to make a fun video Joker Bombs. Check it! Ok, I think I divide my tutorial for two different uh, videos. In first video uh, I will show you how to make a modeling of everything what you can see inside in this uh, small scene. And in second video I will show you how to set up uh, particles, how to make an animation, animation of camera and finally how to um, how to add this video to Adobe After Effects, add some sounds, some effects, and finally we'll receive like these results. Okay, let's start! We are inside in Cinema 4D and first of all I create a room, so just normal standard cube. I go into display options and change to quick shading line. Change size 4 meters, 4 meters up to 3 meters and change segments 2 and uh, 3 and 3, make like this. So make this cube. I rename for room and make this cube editable. Go to polygon selection, select tools, take this side and delete on your keyboard. So go here and delete this, we no need. Now we are create a ventilation. So create one more cube, change size maybe 100 centimeters maximum, I don't need any more. Okay, maybe a little bit more. So, take out, make it editable, like before. Go to polygon selection select this, delete, oh I think no, I think we delete only this, ok, edge selection, select this, and drag, and make like this. Ok, very nice. So, age selection and transfer somewhere here. Ventilation almost done. What I have to do now? Just to make... Uh, select this and select this and little bit of bevel. Maybe, maybe for 2.5 centimeters only and subdivision also make approximately 3 not necessary make a more very good ventilation rename and put ventilation what we will do now uh, go and create some cube transfer somewhere here and reduce up to maybe 1 centimeter maybe only 10 centimeter and 110 like our inside area yeah very good MoGraph cloner and put this cube inside where is where is where, where is this come on okay here I take cloner drag somewhere here put put down and change I don't know maybe for only 
only 15 centimeters between increase lines I go here yeah little bit up maybe decrease up to 12 centimeter 13 okay yeah like this will be good what I will do now I go to transform and change rotation uh, not this I think it will be B rotation yeah change maybe like this okay looks like very very nice very good what I will do now I will do some ventilator again create a primitive plane make only one one I don't know what what I will do I will make a X plus reduce size maybe up to right, up to 10 okay very good and length maybe 60 okay 60 will be good maybe 50 no 50 is too small 60 60 very nice again go to cloner put plane inside go to properties of cloner and change to mod change to radial and go to plane maybe we will use uh, like this okay you see from top uh, from front yeah what we will do now go to transform and change our angle p angle up to 90 degrees and reduce a uh, distance reduce distance maybe maybe 20 will be good so 20 will be nice go to count up and increase until you will be satisfied so 10 will be will be okay for me 10 will be okay and what else if i take my ventilation cloner put somewhere here i like to change uh, angle of each part so go here and make little bit you see yes like this maybe 25 degrees maximum okay very good put this inside somewhere maybe here what we will do now we are going to redshift light and create area light don't forget in redshift this uh, z arrow z arrow showing a direction of this light so i will change for 90 degrees and put it inside in my ventilation maybe somewhere here what i need i need little bit increase the size of this 10 10 10 and increase of course a uh, multiplier so 1700 and 1000 will be enough color maybe i will change little bit to blue maybe like this okay what i have to do now uh, this i will close i will make a propeller this will be a grid maybe i have some somewhere a mistake but doesn't matter alt g on your keyboard and you're going to know it will be ventilation so i take my ventilation and put in okay together with light and put like little bit inside in my room maybe like this little bit only little bit so now from my room i can see this ventilation what i have to do now i go to front view go to room go to line and just little bit pick up this line and put down this line to avoid any problem with my ventilation okay very good go to area light down and visible we are doing it's visible light so render and check what we have very nice 
it's coming coming but not so good quality this is normal this is normal what we will do now we are create few more area light change angle uh, maybe change little bit size up to 100 up to 5 and put somewhere here corner somewhere here select all of them copy and put on the top almost here okay in the change uh, settings of this light we again change a uh, multiplayer for 1000 and 1700 everything will be same nothing change not anymore okay go to our red render settings and change render to redshift going to redshift base and take out this force enable disable so going to system bucket render and make a maximum bucket order spiral so render again and check what we have okay looks like very nice looks like room almost done what we will do now I collect all the slides, select all, all of them, Alt uh, G on your keyboard and make a uh, lights. Just a little bit organized. So now I will do a table. Just standard cube, 5 centimeters, 60, 60, and maybe a little bit villet. I don't know, maybe only for 2 centimeters. No, maybe 4 one centimeters okay one centimeter will be good okay i forget to pick up everything up because you see little bit up maybe like maybe like this okay just little bit down okay cube pick up for 60 centimeters it will be our table 60 centimeters it will be enough what I will do now now we create a leg for this table for this I will use a loft how is working so first of all I create a circle change mm, position of this circle and reduce radius maybe maybe 20 20 maybe less maybe 18 okay take the circle and put inside to the loft now go 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 here okay hold on your keyboard counter and drag up again hold counter drag little bit up and reduce radius maybe up to three okay what we have you see what is coming again take drag little bit up drag little bit up and change up to six centimeters up again three centimeter again six centimeter three centimeters okay very i don't know you can make absolutely up to you what you like it's absolutely doesn't matter absolutely doesn't matter okay maybe like this maybe in this time i will do like this so uh, if you like you can change letter uh just maybe maybe a little bit just maybe okay so i like it in this time i will do like this so not so bad uh select this and this together 
So some settings for the loft. Reduce the subdivision. I no need too much. Maybe only five will be enough. And 24 rotation also will be enough for us. No, maybe more. Okay, 30 remain. Doesn't matter. And last of the loft, last one, I reduce, so not, not last this, I think I will do like this, only 2 centimeters, so very beautiful. Select both of them, Alt G, and name, table, very good. What we will do now, now we are create this interesting bump, just normal cube, standard cube. 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters, and maybe only 15 centimeters. Put on the table. Somewhere here. Very good. What I will do now? Make this cube editable. So first of all, I make a solo for this cube. Uh, if you haven't additional uh, Magic Solo plugin, you can proceed to solo view and make solo single. But I have this magic solo plugin, so I just select my cube and push this button. I have only my cube. Make it editable. Go to polygon selection and delete top uh, polygons. So uh, now I create all of them. Right click and extrude. I extrude inside. Maybe for only 0 0.5, 0 0.5 centimeter like this and create cups. So I have some very, very small box. Very good. What I will do now, cube, uh, reduce size, 20, 0 0.5, 20, and put up, take. This will be like a cover. So this will be 20, and this will be 10 somewhere here, copy and put somewhere here. And just take and put for a normal standard position, where is it will be finally. Here and here. Okay, what I will do now, select both of them and make it detable. Take this cube, go to Enable axis, 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 sorry, yeah, sorry for my English. Select and put somewhere here. For what I need it. If I go to rotation tool, it will work like, bo like box. Same I will do with other one side. Select, drag somewhere here, and finish. Okay. Uh, what I have to do now, go to content browsers, go to presets, visualization, I uh, know, maybe, maybe broadcast, I think everybody have like this, go to celebration and take this ribbon. Very good. It's not necessary to make modeling of this, we just take, delete this and remaining only this. Very good. Go to ribbon and increase maybe in twice size. We will do like big, big joker present. Okay. So very nice. Very nice. Now I created some small, some small bombs like TNT. Go to cylinder. Change maybe no, not Z. Uh, yes, X. Only 15 centimeters will be enough and reduce, pick up and reduce maybe up to 2 centimeters only. So very good, very good. Put somewhere here. Okay, very nice. Copy paste somewhere here and copy paste somewhere here. So uh, how to make a wire? It's very, very interesting techniques. Now I show you. You go to standard spline, push somewhere here, maybe maybe here, maybe here. 
Okay. Uh, what I will do now? I going to uh, to splines and helix. So where is my helix? You see, it's very very big helix. So I change direction like this. Change for one centimeters, one centimeters, and reduce high. Maybe up to up to five centimeters maximum. What I will do now? Take helix and apply to helix a spline warp like this. Yeah, inside a spline warp, inside a modifier, I drag and drop my spline, and you see what is going on. What I have to do now? Maybe just little bit increase. Okay, no, 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 I have mistake. Helix should be other rotation. Okay, like this. Z, Y. So, and when I increase angels, you see it's coming wire. Increase more, more, until you will be satisfied. Maybe, maybe about 10,000. About, like this. Okay, very good. And what I will do now? I go to some tools and sweep put this helix inside to the sweep create circle and also put inside reduce the circle maybe up to 0 0.2 centimeters and I have very good wire so what I will do now select all of them alt G and wire so I drag this wire I think I drag this wire somewhere here. Okay, you see, yeah, very good. Uh, select this wire and copy of them. Copy of them and delete spline. What I will do now? Go to front view. Take spline, create here, here. okay like this and put the spline inside go to helix warp and drag and drop inside so i have new new wire new wire but it looks like not so beautiful how to avoid this problem now we will check what's the problem now we will check maybe maybe it is too much But what's the problem? I not understood exactly. Okay, maybe. Very strange. Very strange. Sh it should to work. Should to work, but it's not working. And I don't know why. So we have it's coming and not working my swipe. Not working my swipe. Why? Uh, sorry, I will check, I will check, which just was done before, circle, x, y, 0 0.1, very strange, oh, sorry, sorry, check again, maybe reduce little bit, 0 0.1, z, no, should be like this, why it's not working? Okay, this spline. Ah, yes, okay, understood. Sorry, my mistake, my mistake, because I put spline inside and swipe, and it's not working properly. Okay, now I take out this, um, take out this spline from sweep, and now it's working. Okay, now it's clear. So going back to helix and increase, uh, increase, and angel maybe like this. So very good. Okay, sorry for my mistake. But now, now I have more experience. Very nice. Okay, I have two, two wires, and what I don't like is this wires going to the table, and I have to pick up a little bit. So I just take a spline, go to point selection, take some. Come on, where is you? Okay, take some points and put somewhere up. Take this point and put maybe like this. Okay, 
you see it's working and pick up little bit this plane just to avoid connection to the table yeah maybe like like this okay so very nice very very funny bomb okay what i have to do now i make a timer how to do it very simple just take a cube this is like our standard primitive maybe only 15 centimeters maybe 12 12 centimeters one centimeters put somewhere here and like this okay very good no 12 centimeters okay 15 15 will be good uh, make this cube like editable again select this polygon right click and extrude okay like this right click and so uh, extrude and take out don't forget to create cups so put somewhere inside maybe maybe like this okay very good very nice and time so i go to standard text where is my text oh so very very big text change maybe for eight only pick up put like here change maybe up to five no five is too mo small and make a time zero 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 three oh no zero 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 three okay i think it will be five approximately five very good will be like this so uh go to tools and create a excrude text put inside in excrude and just make a zero everything just just to see, to make a visible these elements okay very nice uh what we have now so take out mm, everything will be like a bomb 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 all these elements we are put inside to the bomb okay and all these elements we put inside in the again bomb very good so again push this button magic solo and what we have we have very nice animation so what i like to do now i like to add some material so take out this material we no need it anymore because we have a red shift so we have to use redshift materials and first of all i will uh, add material to my ventilation so create redshift material just standard go inside and on the settings make a black color and for the reflection use a maybe 0 0.4 okay like this this we, we apply for all my ventilation render and check what we have okay looks like very nice like a plastic maybe i don't know what is this yeah and also i like to apply the same material for for my bomb for timer so for extrude just put inside okay now i go to create redshift material and self-illumination material right click and make a green color apply this green color sorry it's i will apply to cube and this i will apply to text if i make a render what i have i have a very nice text yeah okay what i will do now create a new material color dark red maybe like here and make it 0.2 only just little bit Oh no, maybe 0 0.4 more. This will be like a bomb. Bomb. So I create three of them. 
and apply here. What I will do now, I copy this two times. This material will be for wire. So like in all Hollywood movie, will be blue wire and will be red wire. Blue and red, just standard. So I take wire number one and wire number two. For wire number one will be blue, for wire number two will be red. Okay. Uh, what material I will use for this box? I show you very interesting uh, material. Name of this uh, car paint. So for car paint, uh, first of all, I will apply car paint to all my boxes, like here. No, delete. Just for all box. Okay. Go to Redshift IPR and start render. Okay, you see, yeah? And how to use this uh, car material? Go inside to the settings. And inside we have very interesting options. Name of these options uh, metallic flakers. Metallic flakers. So if I increase these metallic flakers, you see coming very interesting very interesting material i increase like this and what i will do i increase the glossiness mm -hmm. now we will check density no density full okay variation full yeah you see just little bit increase okay you see how it's coming and change color. I like to make a blue. Maybe like this. Sorry, it should be here. Okay, you see how it's coming, yes? Very, very nice material. So I think I will use almost same color for my uh, ribbon or maybe Okay, maybe I will use green. It doesn't matter. It's absolutely up to you. So copy of copy of any material. Go inside and just change few settings. Go to like this and apply it to the ribbon. Where is it? It will be inside somewhere here. So take and apply. I no need anymore. Okay, you see. Very nice. So, now we create material for my table. Today I will show you how to use a uh, very nice options in Redshift. We will use a uh, weights of reflection. So, how to create very interesting material. Go to texture. Take texture. General. I use from my desktop like this and put to the main diffuse color so now we have material and how we will play with this first of all I make a IPR I have a table take this material apply to the table like a cubic okay very good you see yes very glossiness and what i will do now first of all i like to add some bump as you remember in my previous tutorial all time i use a color correct and i use a bump map so color correct take out full saturation put inside inside like texture and to the material overall sorry overall bump input Okay, now I have some bumps. I have some bump. But as you can see, I have 100% of reflection. So, I take color correct and from here put down to material and reflection weights. Reflection weights. And what we have now? Some parts of reflected and some parts not reflected. Very good. 
I just change maybe I don't know maybe 0 0.1 just to make or maybe 0 0.5 just make more more glossiness 0.2 and reduce little bit bump maybe 0 0.2 only okay like this I like this material I like it very nice so same I will do for my walls and my floor go in this view and make a copy of this material this will be my floor so for floor I just change uh, for laminate render okay I just change it do not make any additional change and it's not necessary okay maybe bump maybe bump I will make it one okay uh, again copy and make a wallpaper for my walls I already prepare some texture you see very good and you see how it's coming reflection yes if I take out it I will have full reflection if I apply it I have reflection only on the colors okay and one more material maybe I will take from this area it will be just standard black color for, him, for my top without any reflection just white color okay going to room polygon selection and select top polygons Tra uh, take this material drag and drop to these polygons okay select these polygons take material from the floor and put here take materials of my wall I mean polygons from my wall take it and apply so uh, now I have to make some settings for these materials first of all uh, I go and change projection up to cubic and here also up to cubic go to IPR little bit increase and play what I have very nice but what i don't like i don't like a size of my laminate so i going to my laminate and to reduce some size maybe this size okay you see it's coming smaller in twice yeah maybe a little bit more no i keep like this i keep like this okay 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 what I have to do now just double check if it's everything working select render yeah okay uh, so first part of my tutorial first video is completed uh, if you like it put like subscribe and see you in my second part where is we set up uh, my particle system, uh, deflection system, wind system, and where is we set up all animation, including camera, uh, for receiving like this video. Okay, see you in my next tutorial.